Hi, I'm back, and today I'm going to talk about the Regenerize Ophthalmic Solutions. What do we know about Regenerize, and how do we know what we know, and what do we not know that we need to know? So I'm going to start with what I personally know about Regenerize. I know from receiving samples sent to me by the manufacturer that Regenerize is a clear liquid. comes in a bottle that looks like this. comes in a box that looks like this. The box contains a product insert that looks like this. There is a light version for about $75 and a professional strength or pro version for $175 to $200. And since there's no information at all about the difference between them, I'm just going to refer to them by their prices from here on. The box for the $175 to $200 version, that's this one, says to store it refrigerated, but it isn't shipped cold. There's an ingredient list of sorts on the insert that lists two things. Bear with me a sec. This is a three-point font, by the way, and the FDA requires a six-point or larger. I know it's here. I swear to God I didn't stage this. I'm just trying to find it. Ingredients. Sterile ophthalmic solution, sterile water. Well, I know water is an ingredient, and I know sterile ophthalmic solution is not an ingredient. So that was basically like saying this bottle contains liquid. So what do I know or think I know? I know this clear liquid is, in fact, a liquid, some of which is water. I know from looking at the box and the insert that they do not match what I'm seeing online registered by Regenerative Processing Plant on the FDA site uh, as Regenerize Light and Regenerize Professional Strength. You can look it up yourself. It's pretty easy. Google Daily Med and Regenerize with no hyphen. And uh, you might want to look for the word glycerin. So those are all the things I know by looking up it. I know from purchasing Regenerize Professional Strength online that at least one online store not owned by the manufacturer, as far as I know, will sell it to you and will pretend that it requires a prescription. I know from talking and emailing with people in our dry eye community that Regenerize is generally understood by patients to be a prescription eye drop. People typically say, my doctor prescribed it. Now, we patients, we don't normally say our doctors prescribed something if it's something other than a prescription drug. We say, my doctor prescribed Restasis or Zydra, or we'll use that language for a compounded drug, like a autologous serum or a preservative-free steroid that we're getting compounded. Most of us do not say, my eye doctor prescribed Sustain or my eye doctor prescribed lid scrubs. We say, my doctor told me to do it. My doctor instructed me to do it. Get it. Use it. So I know our community believes Regenerize to be a prescription drug. Just a little bit weird, but we're used to weird stuff, right? Next, I know from the Dry Foundation's communications with the Food and Drug Administration that if Regenerize contains what they told us it contains, placental proteins, then a biologics license is required prior to legal sale. And I know that Regenerize does not have a biologics license for either of these products because I looked it up and I reached out and I asked the FDA to confirm it. You and your eye doctor can very easily do that very same thing. We have the phone numbers and the email addresses right there on our website, biologiceyedrops.org. I also know from talking to people who are a lot smarter than me and reading studies published by people who are a lot smarter than me, that if Regenerize is what they told us it is, placental proteins, those types of proteins don't stay intact at room temperature. So you might like these drops, and I'm not going to argue with you about that. But whatever it is you like about them, it probably isn't the proteins. I mean, you really ought to hear the labs and the industry people laugh when we describe what this is and how it's stored. On the other hand, a regenerized salesperson told a friend of mine that they have a proprietary ingredient that keeps it shelf-stable. 
but they told us the only ingredients are placental proteins and water, so go figure. I also know from studying the box and the insert and the manufacturer's website, regenerize.com, and the manufacturer's advertising on various platforms and various journals, I know they don't say it's made for dry eye. They don't say it's made to treat dry eye. They don't say it's made to relieve dry eye symptoms. They don't say it's made to help people with dry eye symptoms or dry eye disease at all. They don't say it's made to help people with any ocular or non-ocular disease or symptoms of any kind. I know from studying those sources that this company engages in an incredible amount of word gymnastics to avoid ever using any words relating to disease of any kind anywhere near these products. If you don't believe me, please watch the presentation called Diagnosing Scam Pharma, Part 1, the Facebook Photos Biopsy on this website. Now, did everyone get that? The manufacturer of this up to $200 ophthalmic solution, which is being used by dry eye patients all over the country, whose eye doctors recommended it for them because they have dry eye or some form of ocular surface disease, the manufacturer of this stuff does not say that they manufacture it for any medical purpose, let alone dry eye or ocular surface disease. When they show up at medical conferences, their booth listing doesn't say they have dry eye products. It says natural, biologic, et cetera, et cetera. The only place that does say so, does say that this has to do with dry eye, is those daily med listings that I keep harping about with the different box and the glycerin that they told us it doesn't contain. So apparently, according to all the advertising, the packaging, etc., Regenerize is manufactured for no particular reason. Is there someone who believes it is normal and acceptable behavior for a drug manufacturer to not state any purpose for which they have manufactured their substance? I don't believe it. I think it's preposterous. Find me any other drug of any class for any medical purpose that doesn't say what it was made for. Now I can already hear the same old objection hovering on everyone's lips. But we're used to off-label prescribing. Yep, of course, off-label prescribing is a widely accepted medical practice, but that's not what this is. Off-label prescribing means first, a company got a drug or a device approved for a specific medical purpose, an indication. Second, the company started manufacturing and selling it for that indication. Third, your doctor at some point started using it for an additional purpose, more indications. In most cases, indications that aren't entirely unrelated to what it was approved for, and this is ordinary medical practice. Off-label prescribing does not mean I take a substance that was never reviewed or approved for any medical purpose at all and sell it for no stated medical purpose at all, wink, wink, nod, nod. So at the end of the day, what are the things that I know about Regenerize Ophthalmic Solutions? I know it's a clear liquid. I know it's packaged and labeled in a weird, slipshod, non-compliant manner. I know it's supposed to be FDA approved before sales, and it isn't. And I know that according to the manufacturer's packaging and advertising, it's being manufactured, but not for any medical indication. What do I not know about this product that I wish I knew? Very simple. I wish I knew what's really in this bottle, because I do not know what is in this bottle and neither do you. That's all for today. My next video is going to be a 90-second sidebar just for eye care providers. After that, I'll get back to regularly scheduled programming for patients, and we're going to talk very briefly about science. 
Your homework today is to watch Diagnosing Scam Pharma Parts 1 and 2. Bye for now.